Welcome down onto the tech desk. Straight down there today, we're gonna to get straight stuck into it because we're gonna be looking at this today. This is my new favorite case for the Satisfy Zen Grip. Okay, so this comes as the bundle, so you get the grip, but I've already looked at the grip and I'll leave a links above there where you can go and watch my review of this grip. Um, but I managed to get hold of this case but before we do that, if you could do me a favor, if you could subscribe to the channel, it would mean a huge amount to me and it would really help out the channel. Because on today, well, not only are we gonna be looking at this, but we're also gonna be comparing it to this. So this is my current Satisfy case. And although it's great for me, it's massive and it was a bit bulky and cumbersome to take away with me. So we're gonna be comparing it to that as well. And I've got the original uh, grip for the switch as well. So let's get started with the obvious thing. What we're gonna talk about is price, okay? So this comes as a bundle. You get the case and you get the grip. Now, as a bundle, it's $50 for these two. The grip on its own is $30. So quick maths, $20. This is worth way more than $20, okay? So if you are going to be getting the Satisfied Grip, get the bundle because this is only gonna be $20 and it is fantastic. So let's go over it then. Oh, on the front, it's got the nice big Satisfy Embossed logo on it. And on the top, a really good handle, nice thick handle, exactly the same as the other case. Really tough, excellent handle. On the side there, zips, nice red, black and red accents. And then when you open it up, this is the star of the piece, as with the other one, it's just beautiful inside absolutely beautiful so it comes with a usb c to usb type c um we'll talk about connecting that in a second but look it's so plush i absolutely love the inside of this this is gonna make your switch better by putting it in if i rub this you can see the beautiful material inside okay so that's covered all the way along there and all the way on this pad here and all the way along the bottom here. If I start at the top here, there's about two, four, six, eight, ten, room for 10 games in there. And this flap basically just goes over the screen of your switch to protect your switch. And in here, if you can see, it's molded in here. So this is kind of solid molding for your grip. And as you would expect, let's put this switch into the grip, pop it in there. It's just an immaculate fit. And as you said, this flap here goes straight over the screen. As you can see, lines up there. So once it's in, talking about protection as well, there is no issues with protection. It's quite squeezy. If I, okay, I reckon I can. Yeah, okay, so if I press, but I've got to press hard, I can press my thumbsticks down, but you're not gonna get any of the issue of it turning on the switch or anything like that. No issue whatsoever. Nice and tough. Loads and loads of protection for this. So it might be a bit small on this one, but there's still decent levels of protection. Now what we're saying about the um, USB Type-C, it's here, uh, L connected like that, just so you can have it plugged in there. And if you're ever gonna use like um, a uh, plug or a kind of like an external battery, you can plug that in there. The only thing for this is you're not gonna be able to fit much more accessories in there because it is a much slimmer form factor. But for me, that is absolutely ideal. That is what I want in a case most of the time. Sometimes I do wanna take accessories out, but most of the time I just wanna get this and stick it into my bag and have as little footprint as possible. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to be comparing it to this one. So this is the much larger one. If you've got this one and you're thinking, okay, it's not too bad, not too big, I'm gonna compare it to this, okay? So this one for starters, on its own weighs 511 grams or 18 ounces or 1.1 pounds. This one on its own is considerably lighter, 367 grams, 13 ounces or 0.8 pounds. Now the dimensions as well, can you see the difference in the dimensions? This one is 32 centimeters by 15 centimeters and this is the kicker, nine centimeters deep. This one, this one is um, it's a centimetre less at 31. It's the same width of there, 15 centimetres. Here you go, look, at the thickest, it's only 6.5 centimetres and 4.5 at the thinnest. So a few centimetres smaller, it makes a hell of a difference for me. Inside this one, 
you can obviously fit uh, more stuff in the pouch up there and you do get uh, kind of like an extra flap to put more games in and a slot under there. But like I saying, if you don't need to take accessories out, this is quite a big case for you to carry. And it did come with the, um, this one came with the, the original Zen Grip. So what I'm gonna do also as well, just to show you. Put the switch, as this is the switch OLED, into the original Zen Grip. And then plunk it in there. Again, it fits a treat. With the flap over the screen great so if you've got the original um, satisfied grip it will fit in this case anyway if you want to mod it like I've done we don't have to show how to do that or if you're going to be using the um, OLED it's gonna have a look at links but if you're gonna if you're gonna be thinking about getting uh, Zen grip and you've already got one of these cases have a think about getting this one and if you're like me you're like a smaller form factor this is absolutely ideal okay thanks so much then like i said at the beginning please do subscribe it help out the channel massively do like all the details down in the description until the next video bye bye